What we observe is not nature itself, but nature exposed to our method of questioning. The first gulp from the glass of natural sciences will turn you into an atheist, but at the bottom of the glass, God is waiting for you. In the strict formulation of the law of causality, if we know the present, we can calculate the future. It is not the conclusion that is wrong, but the premise. Natural science does not simply describe and explain nature. It is part of the interplay between nature and ourselves. The more precisely the position is determined, the less precisely the momentum is known in this instant, and vice versa. Science no longer confronts nature as an objective observer, but sees itself as part of the interplay between nature and man. The reality we can put into words is never reality itself. There is a fundamental limit to what we can know. Nature is made in such a way as to be able to be understood. Quantum theory does not describe the world itself, but only our knowledge of it. Revere those things beyond science which really matter and about which it is so difficult to speak. The structure of the atom is not revealed to us directly, but only through our interactions. The concepts of classical physics describe the observer-independent world, but quantum theory forces us to abandon this view. Science is rooted in conversations about nature. Every experiment destroys some of the knowledge we had about the system. The path of science is not straight. Whenever we speak about something that exists, we are really referring to a set of possibilities. There are things that are so serious that you can only joke about them. Science cannot solve the ultimate mystery of nature because in the last analysis, we ourselves are part of the mystery. The same organizing forces that have shaped nature in all her forms are also responsible for the structure of our minds. The smallest units of matter are not physical objects in the ordinary sense. They are forms, structures, or tendencies. The reality in quantum mechanics is not a single, unchanging truth, but a set of probabilities. Modern physics has shown us that the act of measurement affects the object measured. Science must begin with myths and with the criticism of myths. The universe is not only stranger than we imagine, it is stranger than we can imagine. There is a contradiction in trying to observe a phenomenon without affecting it. Even the language of science is ultimately metaphorical. The act of knowing changes the thing known. Every word or concept, clear as it may seem to be, has only a limited range of applicability. What appears to us as a stable, static world is actually in constant motion and change. The world is not given to us in pieces. It is our concepts that fragment it. The deeper you go into physics, the closer you come to philosophy. To ask what is real is to ask a philosophical question. Understanding is not a matter of passive reflection, but of active engagement. The mystery is not that we see the world as it is, but that we can say anything about it at all. An experiment is a dialogue with nature. We can know the world only as we encounter it. 
What we call reality is only a reflection of our limited capacity to observe. True knowledge comes not from observation alone, but from interpretation. We must learn to think in new ways to grasp the new physics. Probability replaces certainty in the quantum world. Where classical physics saw order, quantum physics sees possibility. The path from intuition to understanding is not straight, but it is necessary. One cannot describe what happens inside an atom without accepting uncertainty. The laws of nature that we find are not discovered, they are constructed through interaction. Every experiment is a compromise between what we want to know and what nature allows us to observe. The aim of science is not to open the door to infinite wisdom, but to set a limit to infinite error. In the end, the questions we ask shape the answers we find. What is depends on how we look. The universe is full of clues, not certainties.